Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Minty, and this is episode 47 of the Tank Tussle Season 2 Tournament. This episode we've got the Sergeant Nichols by Obscure continuing its run, and it's coming up against the newest uh, tank, the Bergs Bergstutzen Heavy Tank by Flax, with a whole bunch of numbers before it, which I'm not going to say. <laughs> but yeah, this is a new guy, it's got a very interesting design, it's got like... The, the tracks are separate rather than being like tucked into the hull they're like separate little platforms on which the wheels are mounted it sort of reminds me of the mammoth tank from uh, command and conquer it's got three different guns two secondary weapons you know that are mounted uh, to the hull and one big old turret it's quite an interesting design it's very unconventional, but at the same time, still very tank-like. I like it. Got some like ant antennae and sensors and all that kind of stuff back here. It's got a, a neat uh, hull shape. He's got these little spikes on it. Kind of weird. The little triangle corners. These little spikes on there. But it's a neat looking tank. I like it. But let's see how it performs. Let's uh, get the camera in position here, and we'll get it unpausing. Underway. Sergeant Nichols fires first, but misses. Another shot comes in, hits. Minor damage. Sergeant Nichols took a hit there. Sergeant Nichols taking another hit. And another, but the, uh, the Bergstutzen getting hit pretty regularly now and now to 94 percent well it's lost a lot of wheels on its left side its treads are basically disabled and those missiles are swooping in and getting some hits those uh two secondary cannons don't seem to be doing much one of them just got damaged oof it's a lot of missiles hitting, lots of fragments going everywhere. Oh, some kind of explosion in the rear of the Bergstutzen. It is getting hammered on pretty well. It's getting chewed up. Um, it is actually beneath 25% of its opponent's health. The uh, Sergeant Nichols mostly ignoring the shells of the Bergstutz in it, which just exploded. And that is a two damage tank that is going to despawn. I was just about to call it for being under 25% anyway, but. It's always nice when tanks uh, just explode and die, so I don't have to make that judgment call. <laughs> Let's get round two underway here, see if the Bergstutz can step it up a little bit. It doesn't have. It has a pretty low rate of fire, although it fired much earlier this time. Don't know why it was avoiding that in the first round. But no damage as of yet. The Bergstutzen did take a lot of punishment before it finally went up. So it has a pretty solid armor scheme. It just needs to do more damage. Oh, there are those secondary guns firing. I wonder if they'll do any if they'll make any difference. Ooh, I think that was a yeah, that shell deflected off the Sergeant Nichols armor. Sergeant Nichols is backing away. I'm loving how the uh Sergeant Nichols missiles are basically coming down onto the top of a the top of the uh, Bergstutzen, like, you know, javelin missiles. Here comes another wave. Fragments flying everywhere. Oh! Sergeant Nichols! Where did... Where... Damn! <laughs> I just looked over here, and it was friggin' gone! Just the turret hovering in the air. <laughs> It's gaining disqualification time it's because it was too high. <laughs> oh, something major exploded inside the Sergeant Nichols. Something seriously major. Alright, secondary guns still functional? 
Uh, probably not after that hit. <laughs> Sergeant Nicholas, you gotta show me something here. Show me you're still in the fight. You're out of materials. No, those those guns are done. Those guns are very done. So this is this is officially a kill for the Berg Stutzen. Because the Sergeant Nichols is incapable of doing but moving back and forth. Well, the Berg Stutzen can't actually move, but at least they can fire its main gun. And that turret is still just hovering in the air here. <laughs> that was funny, though. Sergeant Nichols just disappeared. <laughs> But yeah, that is a kill for the Berg Stutzen in round two, so this round three is going to determine who wins. It's a matter of who can keep from exploding the longest, and well, apparently the answer to that question is not Sergeant Nichols. <laughs> that thing was taken off like a rocket from all the explosions. It has materials left, so it could theoretically bring its weapon back online. It's probably not going to. Oh, the secondary guns are still functional, so the Sergeant Nichols is still... but it is more than 25% behind. We'll see if the, uh, the Berg Stutzen can maintain that lead. Maintaining it is a requirement. I don't think it's going to with just those secondary guns. Those secondaries are actually doing a, an, a not insignificant amount of damage. Or they were, until they exploded just there. Oh, and more explosions! Yeah, the Sergeant Nichols is done at this point. It, it might still have its missiles. I don't know if it has any ammo to rearm them left. That last explosion may have been its final ammo reserves and even if it is it's not it's not gaining it is definitely the uh, Berg Stutzen is definitely maintaining the 25% lead it's going to two damage the Sergeant Nichols any moment now so yeah this is a victory for the Berg Stutzen it did not look like after in round one it looked like the Sergeant Nichols was uh, the, su the superior vehicle but round two and three proved otherwise so yeah, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, make sure you check out the description-y stuff down in the description for, you know, approval votes and all that. And otherwise, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.